Because the word surely told you that, that if you don't praise me, I will make the rocks cry out. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Some of you come and you serve and you forget about your home. You in here serving and your daughter trying to figure out her sexuality.
Took him down to the river. Went down in there about neck deep. And the old man pushed him under the water and held him there. So the young man is slapping at him and gasping, trying to get up and come up. And so he turns him loose. And he said, when you have the passion to find God, just as you did for that next breath, then you will find him. For me. What excites you? What makes your heart pump fast? What gets your adrenaline rushing? Make you get the little butterflies. And I ain't talking about Pookie now. And Beyonce. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost. Honey, he'll make your liver quiver. Sense, y'all. 
you serve with an attitude in everything that you do. And you say you represent God. Ain't no God in that. I don't see God in that. Huh? When you can fix your mouth in the house of God and talk about your sister or your brother, ain't no God in that. And when you can sit in church and lust on somebody else's husband, that ain't him either. Huh? When you covet it because somebody else got a brand new ride and you mad, that ain't him. Huh? You mad because the sister got a promotion, amen. She done bought a new house. She got a new baby. She got it going. in your service. Take it in your service. Look here, when you make a commitment to Christ, to Jesus, and you say, I accept him as my Savior and my Lord, that is an eternal commitment. So your commitment to serve him should be no different. You can't serve him when you want to. You can't serve him when you feel like it. Huh? Because sometimes you got to serve when your stomach hurts. When you got a migraine and you can't hardly see, you peeking at everybody. Sometimes you got to be a sacrificial servant. You got to learn how to serve God in the midst of everything. Amen? With the toe ache, with the head ache, with the back ache, with the husband acting a fool, with the bills not being paid, with them acting a fool on your job, you got to serve God 150%. Amen. It's like this. If you are married and you stop wearing your ring because you're having problems with your husband, does that make you not married anymore? Well, well. Or if you go stand in the garage, does that make you a core? Come on. Come on now. I'm just giving y'all something to think about. Just because you take it off, or just because you go stand in the garage, don't make you neither. But you got to be a servant. See, you gave your life away when you accepted Jesus. You are no longer your own. Uh, you were brought with a price. And you must take up your cross and follow him daily. Uh, you got to deny yourself and you got to serve and carry your cross. Sometimes we spend way too much time complaining about someone else's service. She do way too much. Don't nobody have to do all that. Why she the only one I always want to run up there and do that? Because you and your silly self won't do it. Someone else's eye. 
and you got a big old plan. 